In this morning's flu watch, vaccine side effects. Government health officials say they have worked very hard to make sure the H1N1 vaccine is safe for everyone. However, one rare, and we should emphasize rare, side effect of flu vaccines is starting to show up around the country. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to tell us all about it. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. It is rare. This is a pretty rare illness known as Guillain-Barre syndrome, and one teenager in Virginia recently came down with it. His parents believe it may be related to the H1N1 vaccine. This is 14-year-old Jordan McFarland. Weeks ago, he was an athletic young man playing sports. Now he needs a walker to move from room to room. It's an aching, but it's, it's, it's also a pain that I can't describe. Doctors told Jordan's parents he has Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS, a rare illness in which the immune system attacks the nervous system. Jordan's family believes the H1N1 vaccine is to blame. 24 hours after he received both the seasonal and swine flu vaccines, he was hospitalized. During the 1976 swine flu scare, officials vaccinated 45 million people. Of those, almost 1,100 developed GBS. If you really look at the scientific data, it is unclear why that happened. 30 years later, the CDC monitors the current H1N1 vaccine for Guillain-Barre and other side effects. No one knows how many vaccines have been given, but the CDC says there have been 2,365 reports of adverse effects. Only 116 were considered life-threatening. There are six reported cases of GBS, but officials stress a link between them and the vaccine have not been confirmed and are being investigated. Clearly, the risk of the complication of the disease is greater than the risk of the vaccine. Now, health officials caution that up to 9,000 people get GBS every year, and the chance of getting sick from the flu is higher than the chances of getting GBS from the vaccine, Harry. You hear, see a story like this and you become concerned. I don't know if there's a way to get that graphic back up or not, but we know that millions and millions and millions of doses of this vaccine have right. gone out. And if you were to go to the percentage points of how many people have had adverse effects, it's infinitesimally small. That is so important, Harry. And this is what I'm telling my patients in my office. Make those numbers into a fraction. Put the number of doses of the vaccine administered in the bottom or the denominator and put the serious side effects in the top. Divide that out. We're talking 116 life-threatening adverse effects over millions and millions of vaccines. Chances are very small, but they're not zero. Point zero 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 zero. Very something. low. Something. Dr. Right. Jennifer Ashton, thanks so much.